What is going on everybody? So Young Kiv had the most explosive passing attack at the Madden Challenge tournament that led to him rampaging through his group and then ultimately coming in second place uh, to Drini. So I ended up taking a look at some of the numbers to find what his most effective passing play was throughout the entire tournament and here's what I found. So I took his five most called passing plays all out of the gun bunch formation which included corner strike, 518 hook, pat sail, PA post, and bunch trail. Compiled all the normal passing stats to ultimately find his QBR when running each play. And as you can see I found that corner strike ended up being his most effective passing play with that 126.28 QBR and he actually struggled the most running bunch trail as you see only going 7 for 14. No touchdown to pick, resulting in a 79.16 QBR. So, Corner Strike ended up reigning supreme once again at the Madden Challenge Tournament. It's been one of the most effective Madden plays uh, for the past, you know, two years at least. And so, I wanted to take a look at what made Corner Strike so effective for Young Kiv throughout this tournament. Also, a quick shout out to TD Reacts, Mark Liu, and Rob Money32 for the idea to take a look at Kiv's game. Thanks for the suggestions, guys. Keep them coming. So the first and most explosive way he was running corner strike was the standard cover three beater. So if you guys don't know, basically all you want to do is max protect so you're blocking your running back and tight end. It becomes a three man route and essentially what's going to happen is you're going to fade that receiver and then you're going to leave the outside receiver on his corner route, backside, you can pretty much do whatever you want, leave him on the C route, put him on an in or a drag as a check down option. But essentially what you're looking to do is catch your opponent in a scenario where they're in a cover three shell which is something you see rather often at this point in the year especially with all the crossfire blitzes and basically you're going to want to run it to the wide side of the field when the middle third safety has to run all the way to the middle from the other side of the formation and what happens is you're looking to isolate this outside cornerback and he's going to sink back initially and then he's going to bite down on that corner route which opens up the fade route behind him the middle safety is not able to get there in time and it's going to result in a one play touchdown so that's what you're going to see right here you you can notice right here the outside cornerback is running backwards but then he notices the corner route and at this moment right now see how he turns and starts basically strafing to look at the underneath corner route the safety has no shot at getting over in time and as soon as he turns and starts strafing the outside cornerback that a receiver on the fade is going to get behind him for an easy one play touchdown and as I said that's primarily used against those cover three shells. Now the second way here earlier in that matchup against Hollywood is basically the fundamentally sound way to run corner strikes. So you're going to have you know your normal flood on the left side with the flat route from the tight end, corner route from the outside receiver. A lot of people will just leave Garcon on that in route and then backside what you can do is either you can leave the table route C route combo or in this case Kiv actually goes with a backside slant coming over the middle of the field just as like a backside check down in case Hollywood does allocate all of his resources to the bunch side to stop that corner strike concept. What you're going to see here Kiv notices at the snap of the ball uh, it looks like Hollywood's going with some type of hybrid man-to-man -man defense as you can see on the outside Keenan Allen running that corner route against that man-to-man -man defender gonna get open Kiv sees it fundamentally sound right read hits Keenan Allen on the sideline for the first down now the final way I wanted to show you guys comes in his championship matchup against young Drini and it's a very similar concept to the earlier cover three beater that he ran against Hollywood but in this case you're gonna see kind of what makes Gun Bunch so good along with what happens whenever that cover three beater actually gets covered. So he's going to go ahead and try to hit Drini with the cover three beater early on in the game. You see Drini in the cover three shell, but in this case his safety wasn't on the opposite side of the formation. His safety was already kind of in the middle, so he doesn't have as much ground to make up. And you're also going to see the cornerback on the right side doesn't bite down. As you can see, he's not biting on the corner route. He's running stride for stride with that fade route. So. The cover three beater covered up, so Kiv, not wanting to force it, ends up looking down to his checkdown options. But what you want to notice here is why Gun Bunch is so good. Look at these three defenders standing on the left side of the field for Drini doing absolutely nothing. And that's the kind of resources you have to allocate 
whenever someone's running gun bunch against you to that bunch side, mainly because of corner strike. You see, it's a hard flat cloud flat combo, which is the main way to slow down those corner strike concepts. But you have to allocate those resources and hope they run corner strike. If you allocate those resources and they run something else, such as this setup, which is a different corner strike setup, or if they run something like PA post, pat sail, anything that involves levels over the middle of the field, then you're allocating two or three defenders on the sideline who are literally doing nothing for the entire play. And that's what makes this play so effective right here. Dre or Kiv, rather, very disciplined, doesn't force it, looks to his check down over the middle of the field. Drini doesn't have any guys in the vicinity because he had to allocate them to the sidelines. Kiv picks up 13 yards and the first down early in the game. So corner strike, just such a versatile play once again this year. Definitely seems like it's most likely the most, you know, effective passing play in Madden period. And it was certainly, you know, the most effective play for young Kiv's explosive passing offense throughout this tournament. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Everybody knows about Corner Strike, but leave a comment and let me know what you guys think is one of the most underrated passing plays in Madden 18. As always, thank you for watching, and until next time, take it easy.